learned to sail on the ocean, on the Pacific yeah. Ocean. Yeah. Uh, oh. Which is, it's, sailing to me is fucking terrifying because when you're, when you're go like when the boat is healing, that so it's like up on the side, it feels like it's going to tip over. And it, it, it could in some circumstances, but more often than not, it's not going to, but it feels like, it makes my heart race where I'm like, the sail is six inches off of the, the water. What the fuck right. do you mean it's okay? <laughs> you know, where right. I'm like, if, if I had a speedboat up like that, it, it would mean we're in danger. <laughs> right, <know? laughs> right, right, right. That's so interesting. So when you crew, are you just essentially learning where to put the ropes, how to get out of the way of the boom? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of that, which I don't love. It's not relaxing because then you're like jumping back and forth and you have to... It's work. It's, it's a job, yeah, right? It's a lot of work because, you know, like the, whoever the boat captain is, is just steering and you're managing the sails and they're shouting at you and you're like, ah, like pulling the ropes and everything. And I'm not, I'm also like, since I grew up on a lake, I didn't grow up on like a big, and it was a smaller lake. It's like a little bit smaller than Big Bear Lake. If you've been up there, I don't know how many acres. I have not, is. I actually haven't been, but, um, um, but it's like, it's like a, a place where Boy Scout and Girl Scout camp, that kind of lake, like you can sure. see across it, right? You could see across it. You I could, mean, it's plenty big yeah. for, I mean, you could still water yeah. ski and stuff, but right. sort of like Pyramid Lake, uh, which is totally. up off the, yeah. You okay. just could we didn't have like big gusts of wind. So there wasn't like, I mean, you have to take the wind into account when you're driving a boat anyway, but not in the way you do with sailing. So I right. never really, I don't, I don't have that like instinct in my bones with the wind where I do with like every a other motor. aspect of boating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. And so, so the, how big were these sailboats? I mean, was it a bigger crew? Like, is it a two person? Was it just two Maybe or three like people? Like a 20 foot sailboat. Yeah. Just like two or three people. Could sail um, it pretty easily. Yeah. Two or three people. Yeah. Was, was it, uh, did you get to a point where you could enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, I think I, I enjoy being on the water regardless, but I, uh, on any type of boat, um, but I'd prefer a speedboat or even a canoe, just something that feels like I have a little bit more control and the wind isn't going to whip me into the water. I, I also like, if you go down to mar the marina, in the marina, they have the UCLA uh, Marine Aquatic Center and they have and I don't know what they're doing during COVID, but they have a lot of the collegiate teams they have, they offer signups for non-collegiate teams just for you to, and it's cheaper than anywhere else because it's, you know. It's oh, it's owned by the school. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see them doing capsizing exercises. And I'm like, that is, I mean, when I was a kid, I would like try to flip over a boat because I like didn't fear death and I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I never succeeded at flipping over a boat, but I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I would do if I capsized. I think I would, I, I probably should take that class because I'm terrified of it. Right. Well, yeah, because it seems like that is something, but I think you would be really good at it because you have all this experience and you probably. would, yeah, you probably wouldn't. The one time I was out on the Atlantic Ocean on a catamaran mm -hmm. um, with, a, with a guy that I worked at with at the hot dog stand that I worked at glamorous job uh <laughs> foot long dogs you guys anyway uh so we flip we we tipped over the catamaran oh, and shit. yeah and so he was like okay so we both climb up on this one side mm -hmm. and then we grab onto the ropes and you lean back and then it just pops it back up oh, good. well except that i grabbed a bungee cord <laughs> no <Jeff. laughs> And I, it was like a it was like a cartoon where I just fell back and he could not stop laughing. This young.